you know, when you're on tour doing lots of, I don't know, TV shows or whatever, it's, 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 um, it can be a bit crazy. So I need a sanctuary to come back to. And old friends, of course, keep him grounded. Everybody that I know around here knows me as Rory. Everybody that I, that I um, hang out with, all of my group of friends like know me from school. So um, nobody really cares about Raggy Bow, man. You know, they obviously they're happy for me, but um, yeah, I still got taken the mick out of the same. Doesn't change. Rag and Bone Man's collaboration with Pink will be one of the centrepieces of the Brit Awards next Tuesday. And by October, a UK tour will see him take the new album out on the road. Piers Hopkirk, BBC South East Today. What a great guy. Now some sport news for you because the Sussex and England cricketer Joffre Archer has made his comeback from injury at Hove. Archer's been playing for the Sussex second 11 against Surrey. He returned to training earlier last month after surgery on a hand injury sustained while cleaning his fish tank at home. Now we're going to move on to the weather because it's been a bit lively to put it mildly, Sarah. Look at that. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? It's been a really beautiful shower cloud there. Yeah, so I'm starting my forecast on this side of the map just so you can really see that. That's going to be the way of it for the next couple of days, I've got to tell you. And uh, yeah, the cool feel persists for the time being, but actually it's going to turn warmer at the weekend, although warmth does not necessarily equate to sunshine, as you will see. But that picture was from Deal. Uh, they started coming in really through this afternoon, those showers are right across Sussex at the moment, and some of them banding together quite lively, as we say, as uh, Natalie just rightly said. And there's more in the forecast then for the next couple of days, particularly tomorrow. They could be heavy with some hail and some thunder mixed in. Here's how we start tomorrow morning. Gardeners cannot get a break can we? Uh, temperatures right down low single figures. Again, we're talking about a ground frost. And then it's sunshine for the first half of the day. Then that driving northwesterly wind brings the showers in. They band together. You've got hail and thunder mixed in. Not a great day. The temperature's really struggling again. 11, 12 Celsius, that's between the showers. It'll be cooler when they come through. Now, here is a headache for weather forecasters. We've got this little area of low pressure just slipping along the channel, just bumping the south coast on Thursday. And all the compute models have got it, various uh, levels of how far north it gets. So here's what we're thinking. It will be sort of damp and cloudy and drizzly, and still we've got that cool air with us. Maybe a little bit more in the way of persistent showers later, temperatures really struggling, but we might not all see some really significant rain from that. And then, yeah, it's the cool air with us. And then we start to drop something a bit milder slowly as we go through the weekend. And that is because we've got some weather fronts just pushing across us. And then we get into what we call a warm sector position. So like I say, it doesn't mean sunshine, even though it is going to be warmth at the weekend. You do better for sunshine, actually, the next couple of days. And then on Friday, looks like that's one of the drier days with some good spells of sunshine. See, the winds are starting to swing Round. We get that uh, southerly in on Saturday. There is going to be some rain around though at the weekend, but it has a massive impact on the temperatures. 18 Celsius conservatively, we could be knocking on the door of 20 degrees. That though will depend on whether we get some cloud breaks on Sunday afternoon. But, but frost it, in May tonight, possibly. Ground Honestly. frost, it's tough. It's really <laughs> tough at the minute. <laughs> Sarah, thank you. That's it from us this evening. We'll have an update from Willsborough and live coverage of the Julia James vigil on our late bulletin at 10.30. Bye-bye for now. This is BBC One. Now, a party election broadcast by the Conservative Party.